What is up, YouTube? Dustin Yui here, back with the NHL 22 franchise mode with the Washington Capitals. I don't know why I said NHL 22. <laughs> we're back. We won the Stanley Cup last time. It was pretty big, pretty massive dubs. Uh, we're going to hop right into the awards here to get her started quick. Um, so, yeah, we won the Stanley Cup, obviously. We won the President's Trophy. Uh, the Clarence Campbell went to the Kraken, and the Prince of Wales went to us, obviously. Uh, let's go to individual. So Art Ross Trophy, uh, Connor McDavid. Maurice Richard, Connor McDavid. Ted Lindsay, Alex Ovechkin. It's not bad. Frank J. Selke to Ryan O'Reilly. Jack Adams to Rabbit. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bill Masterton to uh, Shiernick. Uh Thatcher Demko wins the William M. Jennings. Vesna to Mark Andre Fleury. Wow, good for him. Con Smythe, Alex Ovechkin. Uh, Calder to Peyton Krebs. Lady Bing to McKinnon. James Norris to John Carlson. Let's go, baby. Uh, Hart Memorial to Connor McDavid. All right. So we got uh, lots to do. We got a lot of expiring contracts to to deal with. So uh, we'll have to see what happens here. Draft lottery. Okay. Uh, the Islanders jump from 7th to 1st. Nashville goes from 6th to 1. Chicago bumps back from 1st to 3rd. We do have a first round pick. Um, this is the Connor Bedard draft, so uh, I don't think we're gonna be able to get Connor Bedard, but um, <laughs> we'll see. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, Central scouting, that's fine. Uh, I guess you just gotta go through it. Hey, yeah. Uh, go into the draft interviews. Okay, a few retired players. Let's see what happens here. Hopefully, we didn't lose anybody. Uh, oh, I guess we'll look, yeah. Let's look at general. So Ryan Kessler, that's the biggest player. Ocposo, Philpula, Nielsen, Seabrook, Edler. Okay, so nothing nothing major. I don't think we... Did we lose anybody? No, we didn't lose anybody. Goalies? Nobody? Okay. Nobody! Alright, so Devin Dubnik retired, Corey Schneider, Andrew the Hamburglar, Hammond, and Leland Irving. Uh, coaches. We did not lose anybody either. Alright, just looking at this too. So Connor Bedard is, should be the clear first overall. Uh, Madve Mishkov apparently is now second overall, Connor Bedard's third, and even though we've set our prospect pool and stuff on low, there's a franchise player that's a gem, so he's probably absolutely disgusting, um, which is very unfortunate, because Connor Bedard should go first overall, but this guy also looks sick, so there's like three solid players in the top three, um, yeah, that's super weird. All right, so I've gone through and done our uh, trade block here before we get into the draft. So I put Ekholm up. Uh, he's <laughs> he's dropped from an 87 to an 85 after we won the Stanley Cup. Um, and he's got an insane contract. So if we can move him, that'd be great. Uh, he's 6.65 for four years, so that's a no-go. Uh, Andrew Kopp and Shattenkirk have, like, no trade value, but uh, they're expiring anyways. Andrew Getzlaff has two years with us, so he's got one year after this one. Uh, he's got a relatively decent contract. Uh, and his value is not bad. Uh, and then there's this guy, the Alexei Protas. So he's he's a 74. He's already 22, so I don't think he's going to really turn into much. Uh, so we're going to try and move him as well. He's got a little bit of value on him, so that'll be helpful. Um, yeah, again, I, if I can move up the draft, I think that'd be dope. If we can get one of those top three, but <laughs> I'm not, uh, not going to try too hard. All right, here we go. So the Islanders are the first pick. Yeah, if we, I mean, if we could get Connor Bedard from Chicago, that'd be insane. I don't know why this draft is so crazy. Uh, Matt Vey Mishkov would also be kind of dope as well. Um, I just want to kind of see what their values are. Uh, in comparison to ours, what can we do here? Draft picks. Okay, so... We need to do quite a bit, I think. Again, let's see what these guys are. That's actually not bad for third overall. If you, if you can get uh, Bedard. Oh my gosh. It's not terrible. Let's see what we can do. Okay, let's try this. Two first and Ekholm for their first. Wow. Let's try it. I mean, we gotta try, right? Protas, two first and Ekholm for their first. <gasps> we did it! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's hilarious. We were able to get the third overall pick. Oh my god. That's so cheesy. We did give up quite a bit though, Simpick. Mishkov, oh my god. 
biggest trade deal in history. Oh my god, Connor Bedard on the Washington Capitals! <laughs> I mean, we, we literally sold the farm to get him. We gave up Ekholm, we kept a million dollars of Ekholm, so that's whatever. Um, he, his cap was just crazy, but his value was still okay. Two firsts, which... Yeah, I mean, we gave up this first, which I was willing to give up anyways. We just won the cup, so whatever. Next year, I mean, we don't need it, so... And then Protas. Oh my gosh, we were able to get Connor Bedard. Well, we don't need to do anything else today. That was the, uh, that's the end of the video. <laughs> no, I, I actually, I like this. Um, obviously, it wouldn't happen in real life. Not realistic at all. Uh, we did have to give up a lot for him. We did, we really did. Um... I, I mean, if Chicago was in that position, there's no way they trade for that. They make that trade. Uh, but we do need something. Like, Ovechkin's almost done. We need somebody to take over for Ovechkin. So, uh, if we can do that, I mean, heck, let's do it. <laughs> It'll make the uh, the franchise super interesting, too. So, sweet. Let's go to the next pick here. All right, next pick. I think this is the... Oh, no, that's not the best goalie. Glove hand, angles, breakaway, strength. Weaknesses, none. Ooh, he's got... Ooh. What's this guy look like? Personality, four years. What is this? What was the other goalie? Joe Hunwick, four years. Potential backup. I mean, yeah, let's give him a go. Let's give him a go. High backup? Eh, whatever. Alright, next pick. It's like a defenseman, yeah. Top 60 low. That's fine. One of these guys. Okay, so we got... A left defenseman, 6-1. We got a right offensive defenseman or 2-A, a right defenseman. I like this guy. Let's take the offensive defenseman. Alright, I'll take him. Alright, round five. Literally don't have anything here going for us. Um, CS rankings. We have literally no information on these on these guys. Um, five years, four years, three years. Oh, hold on. Let's pick this guy. Oh, he's a goalie. Yeah, whatever. Load up on tendies. Oh, I want to see what he looked like though. Backup. Oh, okay, sounds good. One sixty-four. See what there is here. Uh, do we have anything? There's another backup goalie. <laughs> oh man, we're just taking all the goalies. Uh, ooh, top six forward low. Yeah, let's take this guy. Sure. Top six playmaker? Eh. Give him a go. Uh, so let's take a look at the first round here. So the Islanders got Yaskalainen, who is a right wing sniper, 81 franchise medium. Matt Bay Mishkov went to the Nashville Predators, who is an 80 sniper. Right wing franchise medium. Connor Bergdard goes to the Washington Capitals. Franchise medium. Sniper center. Holy moly. A lot of franchise snipers. Um, quite a good draft, actually. Oh, man. All right. We made a crazy deal for this kid. We're taking a chance on this guy. I don't know if he's going to turn out. All right. Absolutely insane draft. Connor Bedard is a Washington Capital, baby. Uh, he's actually going to go sick with... Um, with our boy Vertanen, where is he? There he is, Vertanen. Ooh, that's like the new. It's like the new Ov Backstrom, Timo Vertanen and Connor Bedard. Oh my goodness! Except they're like ready to go. I mean, how old is Ovechkin? He's a 37 year old, so like, he's only got two, two or three years left. Um, I guess the question I might pose to you guys is: Do we sign Bedard right now, or do we give him a, another year, the season? I, I mean, he's obviously ready. Um, but like, where do we put him? I mean, we gotta, we gotta trade, uh, Co oh no, oh, we didn't trade Cop. I totally forgot about that. I think Cop and Shattenkirk are going to, uh, free agency, to be honest. Alright, scouts, uh, okay, I'm gonna have to sign scouts and stuff. Uh, so I'll do, I'll do that, I'll do the, uh, I'll re-sign some of our, uh, for, like, our unsigned guys. Then I'll give you guys a quick breakdown. All right, so here's the re-signings. Uh, so I let Cassie go because he wanted over four million. He got up to an 83. He was currently uh, previously signed to a 1.4 million contract, essentially. Uh, he got from an 81 to an 83, uh, and he wanted like a three million bump. 
Uh, Shattenkirk was like a $3 million player. Uh, his contract kind of stayed the same. Uh, we can't afford him though, so we got rid of him. Um, I, I re-signed Andrew Kopp. He's going to play third line at least. Uh, minimum. Uh, so uh, he literally signed the exact same deal he had for two years. Uh, Lars Eller we re-signed, so he'll be like a fourth line player. Second or, or sorry, third or fourth line player. Uh, Garnet Hathaway, fourth liner, obviously. Uh, you, this uh, Luke, Lucas, yeah, Lucas Johansson, he'll be in the top six. Uh, so our, our defense are definitely going to take a hit. I think uh, Connor Clifton will be in the top six as well, potentially. Connor Sheary will be a bottom a bottom uh, six guy. The only player we have not signed, and I want to know your guys, is Connor Bedard. I think, like, without a doubt, he could probably play. Um, Yeah, he could for sure play, 100%. He's not got two superstar abilities? That's interesting. Um, but I guess the question is, do we need him? Not really. So, I don't know. What do You, you guys let me know what you guys think. Um, he's obviously sick. So, 113 points last year. Uh, he definitely could help us, but we have we have some de decent forward depth. So, like, yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll set up the lines and show you guys. I'm not going to sign him just yet. We'll, I'll get into, like, September. And get the line set up and then I'll show you guys and you can let me know if you think we should put Connor Bedard in. <laughs> I think it'll be a, an outstanding yes probably but uh, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll give you guys the uh, the last swing vote. Uh, the other thing to note is we currently have just over six million dollars in cap space available. Um, we have 38 contracts too we got to fill in some players but uh, yeah we do we do have some cap essentially to sign somebody um i think it might be a defenseman i think that's who we go for not yandel oh my gosh seven million dollars so yeah we have 6.8 right now uh our decor is not bad all right so before we make a decision let's look at this so here's essentially what our uh defensive core yeah de essentially what our decor looks like uh so i need to sign some kind of prospect for the ahl but we have carlson and pollock so those are two right side defensemen we have fairvery and smith and then we have Johansson and Clifton. Uh, so definitely room to improve that bottom six. If we could maybe sign two guys. Potentially sign two guys for about three million apiece. Uh, or we sign somebody who's, you know, an 85-ish for that top pairing. Uh, so I think that's what we do. Uh, so center-wise, we got Backstrom, Kuznetsov, McMichael, Kopp, Eller. So Kopp will probably be playing left wing. He might be playing center, though. Same thing with Eller. Uh, Gatslaff will be on the fourth line. Vertanen will be on the first line again. Um, so, like, we have a lot of center depth. Uh, left wingers, we have Ovechkin and Shiri. Obviously, Kopp can play left wing. We also have, on the right side, we have Mantha, who can play left wing, who did play left wing last year. Oshi played on the second line right wing. We have Hathaway, who can play either side. And then we got Leeson. Yeah, because we lost Cassie, we might maybe need a third line scorer potentially i think that might be what we need a third line score i mean getzlaff could even play third line too right so uh i'm gonna look at that i think so potentially like a third line score or we go for some more defensive depth which i think is probably the play all right so here's our haul we got jack roslovic for a third line role artem zub for a bottom six role uh my my only thing is i just i hope he fits on that line i don't know <laughs> Uh, Gabriel Carlson, that's a big signing, actually. Left defense, top six. That's decent. Uh, Christian Yaros. Simon Edvinson, that's like a steal on defense. That's crazy. And then Brett Berard. All right, so we filled out our contracts. Let's get to the next season and look at our team before I let you guys uh, let me know about Connor Bedard here. Owner expectations. All right, let's see what they, they want here. Uh, anything short of the Stanley Cup is a failure. Yeah, okay. Want us to advance to the Stanley Cup final? Okay, so they doesn't want he don't they don't want us to win. They just want to skip to the final. That's fine. Depending home ice, a must get thirty home wins. Team store needs an upgrade. Okay. Alrighty, we <laughs> we've done our lineups here. Um, so TJ Oshi actually got considerably worse. He, I think he was an eighty-five last year. Connor McMichael jumped up to an eighty-eight. Uh, so I kind of had to put him on that line, but I, yeah, I don't know. Cause like, he's going to get worse if he's not, he's a, he's a elite medium, right? It says he's a first line forward actually, but he doesn't really quite fit on that first line. 
Uh, honestly, McMichael, uh, Connor Bedard, and Vertanen is going to be just absolutely filthy. Uh, so the question is, do we bring up Connor Bedard? So we have Ovi, Backstrom, Vertanen, uh, McMichael, Kuznetsov, Mantha, Roslovic, Kopp, and Oshi, and then Getzlaff, Eller, and Hathaway. Um, I, don't, I just don't know, I don't know where he fits here unless we move somebody. I'm thinking we could trade TJ Oshi, but then like, that's kind of a waste to have Mantha there, right? So I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. If you guys have any suggestions there, let me know. Uh, defensively, Fervory got up to an 85, which is sick. So he's playing with John Carlson, who is now a 94. Good old he's a 96. That's crazy. He's just getting better. Uh, Ty Smith is with Pollock, and then we have Lucas Johansson, who went from a 79 to an 81, with Artem Zub, who is now an 82, uh, except that line is minus 3, chemistry-wise, which, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, goaltending Samsonov's an 87 still, Vanacek, um, and then in the AHL, I did try him, but we signed this Brad Leeson guy, uh, he doesn't quite work on a on our fourth line plus his defensive awareness isn't good his shot blocking and stick checking is actually insane though um we also have axel jansen Fjall Fjallby. i don't know how to say his name he's not bad defensively he could work on our fourth line as well um defensively edmonton's a 77 edmonton's actually gonna be nasty i don't know how or why detroit didn't re-sign him that's actually like crazy uh gabriel carlson is also an 80 overall now the guy that we signed uh, just to like fill in our stuff so he could also he's a defensive defenseman but he could also potentially like he's a big depth guy too for us right now uh, especially in the playoffs so we the only thing i was just like may, maybe edmonton needs i think edmonton needs more of the playing time so i'm actually gonna put there uh but otherwise yeah like brett john did we sign this guy oh no yeah we signed him okay. uh and then in net in the <laughs> Uh, Michael DiPietro is an 83, so we could potentially move a goalie if we wanted to as well. Um, I don't know. Yeah, lots to lots to ponder. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. We got Connor Bedard. Absolutely stupid trade. I don't <laughs> I'm surprised it worked. The, the trade difficulty is on hard, too, so I don't know. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you haven't done so, hit the subscribe button. And uh, again, if you have any thoughts, suggestions, uh, comments, feedback, etc., just leave them, leave them below. Let me know. All right. Appreciate you guys checking out the video. Um, and hopefully we see you guys in the next, in the next one. <laughs> Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching, guys.